Today I'm going to be starting a new series, a Java development series. I'm not going to be going super advanced games or anything like that, but just just more or less the basics. So I highly recommend learning Java. If this is your first programming language, I think this is a great programming language to start out with. I mean that's just my opinion, but it's my favorite. So, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be installing a thing called the JDK, the Java Development Kit. And what this does is it compiles all our programs into these things called class files. And I'll tell you all about that later, so don't worry about it. But the first thing we need to do is just make sure you don't already have the JDK installed. So go ahead and just type Java C for Java Compiler, hit OK. And it says it's not recognized as a program. So that's, that's good. If it does give you a bunch of list of commands, then you can just go ahead and skip on this. Skip this tutorial and go on to the next one. But if it doesn't, you need to follow these steps. So we'll go ahead and open up a web browser. Because we're going to have to go and download it now. And just Google the Java JDK. And then just the first result here. I'll also put this URL in the description too, so you can go directly to it that way. Then go to Downloads. Then you'll have to read over the license agreement, accept it. Then you'll be able to download one of these JDK files that pertain to your platform. So I've already downloaded it. Once you want to do is you want to download it and then just it's going to present you with an installer just click a bunch of next yes you know typical install so I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be back when it's done alright guys so I finished installing it so let's go ahead and get started on the next step so what you want to do you go ahead and go to your start menu, go to computer, your main hard drive, and then go to your program files, your Java right there, then your JDK, and then your version number, and then go over to your bin folder. And now, out of any of these, you can right click on them, go to properties. And then what you need is right here. It's going to be C colon backslash program files backslash Java and then JDK, your version number, and then backslash bin. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and copy that. Click OK and close this out now. And now what we need to do is create a thing called an environmental variable where Java will work. So go ahead and go to your computer again, right click, go to properties, and then go to advanced system settings, and then click on environment variables, and we need to make a new environment variable, and we need to name it path, and then on a variable value, we need to paste that code we had just a second ago, that path file. Click OK, and you can see it's added. So you go OK again, OK, and then close this out. And now, let's do run CMD again, and type Java C for Java Compiler. If you did it right, you'll get all this stuff right here. And in the next video, I will be showing you how to install Eclipse, which instead of going through a bunch of stuff and typing in all this all this command you can just run it from this little program here so in the next video i'm going to be showing you that thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe thank you